The next full moon is all set to occur on Friday, November 19, 2021 at 3.57 a.m. ET and is known as the Beaver Moon. It's called the Full Beaver Moon and it's an extra special full moon because it coincides with the near total lunar eclipse. So on Friday, November 19 at about 3.57 a.m. EST, November's full moon will be at its peak. Although you might not want to wake up really early, the moon will still be big and bright if you want to check it out later in the evening. So the November full moon will also occur with a partial lunar eclipse. It won't be a total lunar eclipse but 98% of the moon will be covered up so it's quite close. The Old Farmer's Almanac notes that the best time to see the eclipse is at 4 a.m. EST. You will be able to see the November full moon and the near total lunar eclipse with the naked eye but a telescope might just give you a magnificent view of the celestial events. On Friday, November 19, 2021, those in North America, South America, Australia and East Asia will see the moon turn red. However, it won't go completely red. In fact, during the event, only 97% of the moon will enter Earth's shadow in space, leaving a tiny portion still illuminated by the sun. So what will happen exactly on Friday, November 19, 2021 is a full moon traveling through the edge of the Earth's shadow. So the duration of the partial lunar eclipse is a whopping 3 hours, 28 minutes and 24 seconds. So this apparently is the longest lunar eclipse that you will get to see between 2001 and 2100 according to NASA. And the reason behind this is that the beaver moon is going to be the smallest full moon of the year. So this near total lunar eclipse will be visible from most of North America reaching its maximum at approximately 4 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, November 19. So the next lunar eclipse that will be a total lunar eclipse and will be around 100% reddish blood moon will occur only in 2022 on May 16th and that will happen for about 84 minutes. However, the eclipse season of 2021 is not done yet because the partial lunar eclipse will be followed on the next new moon that is on Saturday, December 4th, 2021 with the most dramatic kind of eclipse of all which is a total solar eclipse. However, this will only be visible to a few thousand eclipse chasers mostly on cruise ships in Antarctica. Now let's have a look at why we call this November full moon as the beaver moon. So this is the time of the year when beavers begin to take shelter in their lodges having laid up sufficient stores of food for the long winter ahead. During the time of the fur trade in North America, it was also the season to trap beavers for their thick winter ready pelts. So let us now look at certain alternative November moon names which are actually highlighted by the actions of animals preparing for winter and the onset of the colder days ahead. So the names such as the digging or the scratching moon, also the name the deer rutting moon which refers to the time when deers are seeking out mates and the name such as the white fish moon describing the spawning time for this fish. In reference to the seasonal change of November, this moon has been called the frost moon and the freezing moon which is quite appropriate as winter is right around the corner. So don't forget the date, mark the date, mark the time and don't miss out watching this beautiful celestial event. So before I end this video, I'm going to leave you with certain spiritual aspects that are associated with the November's full moon and also especially with the fact that it's going to be a partial lunar eclipse.